Hello, in this iClone tutorial, I will show you how to employ real-time particle effects for dazzling visuals. This is part of the iClone Masterclass series to help iClone users improve and level up their skills. Let's get started. So we have our scene open in iClone already. And as you can see, we will set up everything. So the the particles you are going to we are going to work with is uh, the popcorn um, particle, the popcorn particle effect. You can download it from the Real Illusion uh, um, website. First of all, you go to your content tab. When it goes to content, you go to particle. And under particle, you will go to popcorn FX library. Under the FX library, you also go to, we are going to use um, different particles. So the first one we are going for is under the weapon particle, we are going to use what we call the flamethrower. The flamethrower um, effect. We are going to apply it to this other character here. So how how do we do that? Do that? We are just going to drag and drop the flamethrower in the scene. So you can simulate the particle here. You can simulate the particle. So you see how it works in the scene. You drag the particle and we want the particle the flame to come from the from the face or from the eye so we drag it we drag it to the face of the first character we are using here it's like a villain, like the bad guy. So you carefully place it to get the desired um, position. You try to place it so it matches the position you want. So let's see how it looks. Yep. Okay. looks nice so we can set the quite much <coughs> under the modify tab you can reduce uh, using global scale you can reduce the scale of the effects so we'll position it down a little bit you can reduce the scale let's see it from the main camera See, we use it from the main camera here. You see, it's as easy as that, as simple as that. Now you can just attach it. You right click, you click on attach, uh, attach it to the head or the face or the, any part of the body or the Google or the eye or anything. So we've placed it here. Once we play it from our camera, we now see. We now see how the flame is working in real time. It's as easy as that. So at this point, we are we are going to use another particle. This time around, we're trying to use a particle where we, we want to use um, another particle here. The particle we are going to use here is so it's going to like like a force field or like it, it. We want the particle to be all over the body of this female here. So. You go back to the particle under under content once you go back under content we check under the vfx once you go to vfx there's this effect called music ball effect you drag and drop to the scene look at it here once you're simulating it you can see it already just come like a sphere so what do we do we click on 
um, sampler mesh. I'll click on the, the character itself. You can now see once you click on sampler mesh, you click on the character or whatever you want to sample on the uh, in the scene. It could be a prop, it could be a character. In this case, we are using um, this character, and you can go to the attribute settings. Once you go to attribute settings, you can choose the level of flux. The flux, the spectrum um, cutoff, and the, all that. And you can change the value, the particle size. You can increase it if you want it to be more, like the size to be bigger. Or you can make it smaller. And of course, you can go down and there are different colors. You can just change the color of the particle to be more orange and it, it it affects the particle in real time that's the good thing about a clone if whatever you're doing you visualize it in real time so once you play it again wow you see how it looks looks good it's almost like she has this uh, something like to prevent the fire from like burning her or affecting her so that's how you can achieve very impressive visually appealing particle effects on iClone in iClone so here if as you can see there's a light bulb here it's it's optional you can put it if you want it but i try to i put this bulb here just to this light here this is actually a point light so that just to give it more uh, realism just to give it more effect reflection on the skin or on the body of the female character so i'm going to activate it so you see what i mean come here you can now see it's reflecting on her body so if i play it now see it just gives that nice just makes it look better and more realistic so this is how you can achieve a very nice uh, particle effect um, in eye clone so you can you can get more more particles from the content store or content library the religion website and you get they have a lot of particles you can play with a lot of particles and improve your animation and improve your videos so thank you for watching this tutorial